everybody, today we're gonna do a Tabata style kettlebell workout. So grab your kettlebell, get it ready. You may need multiple sizes depending upon how the exercises feel. Grab some water and let's get ready. Let's warm that body up. So we're gonna grab that kettlebell, we're gonna go around that body. So feet shoulder width, hip width apart, around. We're gonna go for about 30 seconds, 15 seconds each direction. Really making sure that kettlebell does not hit those hips. So nice and light right now for the warm up. And let's switch other direction. Feeling good. Heart rate's gonna slowly start to elevate. And relax, let's do the halo. So grab that kettlebell upside down, around your head. I'm trying to keep it really close to those ears, not hitting yourself in the noggin. Give me one more time around, and then we're gonna switch directions. One more, and relax. We're gonna go into a little bit of a deadlift to warm those legs up. So have that kettlebell straight out in front of you. Feet are gonna be back behind you, grab it, and you're just gonna come up so hips are up nice and tall, and come back down, 10 each side. Let's go. Nice and slow. Exhaling when you're coming up. Last one. Perfect, set that kettlebell back down. Opposite arms, switch sides, and up. Three more. Last one, awesome, goblet squat. So you can hold the kettlebell either this way or you can flip it upside down. I like flipping it upside down and going onto my knees with my elbows. So 10 reps, now nice and low. Nice and slow, again, this is the warm up. Hips are really low, knees are not over the tips of my toes. And give me one more. All right, set that kettlebell down. Let's do a little bit of some stretches. So arms out nice and big, cross them in front, open them back up, opposite arm is in front, 10 total. Last one, and relax, good. We're gonna grab that elbow, come behind our head, a nice little pull, lean to the side, come back up, switch to the opposite side, a little pull in that tricep, lean, come back up, switch again. A little dynamic stretching here. And one more each side. And switch to the opposite side. Grab that knee, pull it up to your chest, give it a little hug. Come back down, switch other side. Again, we're alternating, getting that knee as high as you can up to that chest. And quad pull, arm up to the sky, chest is up tall, pull that leg back behind us. And last one is gonna be hamstrings. Heel down, toe up, swing those arms down and come back up. Grass pickers, cherry pickers, whatever you wanna call them. One more each side. Good, okay. So for this workout, Tabata, you're doing 20 seconds of work, 
You have 10 seconds of a break between each of the exercises. We're gonna do eight exercises before we have, that's one block, before we have a one minute break. And then we're gonna do another set of eight exercises. So we're gonna do those blocks, two different blocks of exercises. We're gonna repeat those three times. So the first exercise is going to be a single press so or a single swing. So now have the kettlebell come down. Remember, we need to have it come by that hip and come up really quick. We're gonna go 20 seconds at work with one hand, 10 seconds of break, 20 seconds of work with the opposite hand. You'll get the hang of this, just follow me. I'm using the seconds timer. You guys can see this right here. Seconds timer is awesome. You can put different intervals. You can have it beep, talk to you, all that good stuff. So we're going in three, two, one, let's go. Let's turn this volume up here. Really getting those swings down nice and high. Right by that glute. Slight bend in those knees when you're coming down. Rest, we got a 10 second breather. Put that kettlebell down and rest for 10 seconds. And we have five seconds left. Get ready with that left hand. Let's go. So the beeps are gonna be three short ones and then a long one telling us we're done. Looking good, looking good. Rest. All right, so that was two. We have eight, remember, before we get that minute breather. So back to that right arm. Let's go. I'm gonna love this by the end. Heart rate is gonna be elevated. Set that kettle down, switch to the opposite hand. Shake those legs out if you need to. And switch the opposite hand. Here we go. Your hand can be on your hip, the one that is not moving, or it can be out to the side. Either one works. Perfect, set that down. Back to that right arm. Shake those legs out a little bit. Do a little walk if you need to. Grab it. Let's go. Keep breathing through these exercises. Rest, set that down, run to the left side. Let's go. You guys are doing awesome. Get that arm up, get that kettlebell by your glute. Perfect, so now we have one more on each side. So we've done six, this will be number seven. Let's go. You guys are doing fabulous. Rest. So we're gonna be done with that right hand for a while. Now on to the left. Let's go. Are we feeling good yet? Loving the swings. Really working that core. It's a whole body movement right now. A lot of muscles engaged. Rest. Whew. All right, so we actually have a one minute breather right now. So right now, this is your chance to catch your breath, grab a drink of water, grab a towel if you may need one, 
stretch anything out that feels really tight. The next exercise that we're gonna be doing is a single press. So for this one, remember rack position, that hand is underneath that chin, elbow is tucked in. Remember, feet are me hip width apart, straight up to the sky and come back down. You wanna make sure your abs are really tight, going directly up to the sky and coming back down. Don't engage those knees into a push press. We're just gonna use our arms right now. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Do as many as you can in this 20 second time frame. So if you need to stop and take a breather, that's okay. So when we're getting to set or reps of like six, seven, eight, it's going to be hard. Ready? Let's go. Straight up and come down. Again, go your speed, your ability level. Just try to make it consistent. Try not to wobble the shoulders back and forth or even lean like this when you get tired. Keep the abs nice and tight. Straight up to the sky and come back down. Perfect. Switch to the opposite arm. Making sure it's comfortable resting on your forearm too. Rack position. Let's go. Straight up and come down. Again, you don't want to lean that body way out to the side to get that weight up when you get tired. Try to keep it underneath that chin and going straight up. Finish it. Good, switch arms. Okay, so if you are doing the math, it's four on each side, so a total of eight, so that's one done. Let's go, straight up. Exhaling when you're pushing. Straight up, straight up, you guys can do this. Perfect. Opposite side. Sometimes people have a tendency to lean backwards. I'll show you what that may look like. So you wanna stand up nice and tall. Some people, when they get tired, they're gonna go like this to lean back. Try not to do that. Try to keep your, again, upper body straight up nice and tall, abs nice and tight. Straight up from that chin. Good, all right, that's two, so four done. Two full ones left and right. We can do this, you guys, we can do this. Straight up. Again, we're breathing. Keep it consistent, keep them coming. Get that weight up there, try not to lean, keep those abs tight. Good, switch to the opposite side. Feeling the burn in the arm. Let's go. You can count each rep to see how many you can do in the total of 20 seconds. So you try to hit that same number every time. All right, we have one more on each arm. We can do this. Arms are getting a little tired right now. Again, making sure we're exhaling as we're pushing that weight up. You might have one arm that is stronger than the other one. My right arm is stronger than my left. So you're gonna see me struggle a little bit on this left side when I switch. So I'm switching to my left. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna keep the pace nice and steady. I'm gonna make sure my form is perfect. If my form starts to break, I need to rest for a little bit. Come on, push that weight up there. Try not to lean now. No leaning to the back or to the side. Straight up. Whew. All right, so set that kettlebell down. Again, arms are gonna be tight right now. So my shoulders are feeling it a little bit. So I'm just gonna swing my arms back and forth. Swing them up over my head. This little movement here. Okay, yeah, grab that water. 
towel off if you need to. We're gonna go back into those swings. So again, with that swing, that weight's gonna start out in front of you. Legs are a little bit wider. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna come up, okay? So we have around 20 seconds left to take a breather. So if you guys need to stretch, again, feel free to stretch at any time during this. So that was our first full block done of our single swing and our single press. We have to do a total of three. So this is block number two. We can do this. Mind over matter. Ready? Let's get that weight. Let's go. Solid form, really getting that weight straight in front of us. Bending those knees a little bit just to come forward. Keep that swing consistent with that speed. Set that weight down. Right away when you think of this workout, you're like, oh, 20 seconds isn't bad. It's not. Let's go. But when we do that 20 seconds over and over and over, you're gonna start to feel this. Again, arm can be out to the side a little bit, or it can be on your hip. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Set that kettlebell down, get your 10 second breather. Switch to that other arm. Let's go. Feeling good. Exhale when you pull up. Relax that weight down. Switch to the opposite side. Do a little dance if you want to. <laughs> Grab the other hand. Let's go. Exhaling when you're breathing, when that weight comes up, don't forget that. Relax that down. Whew, we're doing great. Two more each side. Let's go. That is so fun because it goes by quickly. I've been working out already for almost 15 minutes. Relax that down. Get ready for the opposite side. Let's go. The louder you breathe sometimes, it helps. We got one more each side. We can do this. And then we get that minute breather again. Let's go. Feeling good. Mind over matter. Starting to get tired. This is when think positive. Whew, left side. Let me get that minute break. Again, walk if you need to. Step out of your stance. Let's go. Hand on that hip. You're doing great. Nice. Okay, we got that one minute break right now. So walk it out a little bit. If you feel like your legs are kind of tight, you can give yourself a little knee hug if you want to. You can do a little quad stretch. Whatever is comfortable for you. Maybe your hands are getting kind of tight from holding onto that weight. Just kind of shake them out a little bit. Shake out those wrists, roll them out. You're gonna get ready for that single press. 
Now, if you are dreading this right now because your upper body is a little bit weaker than your lower body, it's okay. We can do this. Again, positive self-talk is gonna go a long way. So think about right now, tell yourself, I can do this, I can do this, and we can start getting ready for this position again. So again, remember rack position, starting with that hand by that chin, elbow is tucked in, but not out wide. I'm trying to go straight up by our head. Your body may go kind of up by your ear. That's okay. Ready? Let's go. Again, nice and consistent. We don't want to go out super fast on the first one. Exhaling as we're bringing it up. So, reach up there. Rest. All right, flip it to that left side. So again, you know, watch on, you might have to move it. Rest it on that forearm, rack it. Let's go. You guys got this. Nice job. So one on each side is done. We only have three left on each side right now. Get that over there. Straight up. You can do this. Keep going, keep going. You're getting stronger. Every single rep, you're getting stronger. Keep telling yourself that perfect form. Abs are tight. Again, slow down the reps if you need to. Just don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. Let's go. Exhale, get that weight up. Come on, one more rep, ready? Let's get it. That's a little challenging. It's gonna be a little bit harder these last two. It's not only challenging for you, it's challenging for me. Let's go. But I'm not gonna give up. You're not gonna give up. You're stronger than that. Your mind is powerful. Don't give in to your mind right now. Keep going. Get that weight up there. Nice work. Way to push through this. All right, if this is your weak hand, really make sure that you guys focus on this one. Keep going, keep going. Come on, come on. Nice. All right, we have one more on each side. Let's get after this. You guys got this, go, go, go. Come on, come on. Perfect. Left side, finish this up. Finish this up. Really wish that up there. Get a breather after this. Exhale, really breathe, really breathe. Try not to lean, stay tight, stay tight. Give me one more if you can. All right, relax that down. Shake those arms out. All right, so don't give up. We got one more block to do. So we got one more full um, swing to do and then a full press. Remember that you're getting stronger every single time you guys work out. Also, you're getting in the recommended amount of strength right now. Remember the American Heart Association recommends two days a week of full body movements. That doesn't mean you have to do everything the same day. You can break it up, upper body or lower body, but today we are doing full body 
um, in this workout. So we are accomplishing that one day per week that the American Heart Association recommends. And I don't know about you, but my heart rate's up a little bit. So I'm getting a little cardio into this burn. All right, 10 seconds, let's get ready for that swing. So, out nice and big. Let's go. Let's finish this. You can do this. Rest. All right, switch to that opposite side. Roll those shoulders back a little bit if you need to. Weight's out nice in front. Let's go. You can do it, you can do it. Keep pushing that weight. Relax that weight down. Again to the opposite side. Woo. We're loving this. This is the last time through with the swings, you guys, for this, this block, not this exercise. But this block right now, this is our last block of these. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Relax that down. Flipping. Whew. Let's go. This exercise is so great because it's working on our core strength right now, which includes our back, our lower back. We're standing up nice and tall when we're coming up, swinging that through, getting a little bit of leg, glute, and relax. And of course, some arms are involved with this one. It's a great, great exercise. Switch to that opposite hand. There we go, let's do this, let's do this. Really swing. Nice. On to that opposite hand. I usually start with my right just to make it consistent. You can start with whatever you want to. Let's go. Between those legs. Get that weight up. Relax, we got one more on each arm for this and then we are completely done with the swings for the day. Let's go. Get that weight out there. We're done with that right arm. Woohoo, a little happy dance. <laughs> Not a big one yet, because we still got the left one to finish. Let's go. Get that weight up there. Work this arm really hard if it's your weak one right now. Don't give up on this. Standing up nice and tall. Perfect. All right, so you guys get that minute breather right now. We are completely done with the swings for the day. So now you can really do your happy dance. So dance it out if you want to. Get ready for that press. Again, it may be challenging for you because your upper body may be a little bit weaker. That is okay. That does not mean we're gonna give up. It does not mean we're gonna stop. The, these blocks with that um, rest and stuff like that, we have four minutes of work or four minutes with a whole block. That includes the rest. So we can do this, it's only four minutes, right? So stretch your arms out if you need to, up over your head. Go across your chest. We have 20 seconds left before we're, it's go time. 
All right, I'm gonna get ready to grab this kettlebell. Now, if you wanna start maybe with your left arm this time, because if it might be weaker for you or your weakest arm first, just to get it done, feel free to do that. I'm gonna do that this time, just to change things up a little bit. Rack position, let's go. Straight up, straight up. Abs are tight, you're not leaning backwards. Be consistent with the speed, up and down. Nice, switch to the opposite arm. We're gonna finish this strong and confident. Let's go, straight up. Big exhales. Nice, beautiful. Three more on each side. That's easy peasy, it's only 20 seconds on each arm. Let's go. If you need to count reps right now to try to get a certain amount, to try to push yourself, go for it. It's up to you what you wanna do with this. Nice work. Switch to that opposite hand. Walk out a little bit if you need to with those steps until you find that spot. And then let's go, straight up. Breathing, exhaling as you're pushing that weight up. Nice. Switching back to that left arm if you start with the left or to your right. Just switch arms. Let's go straight up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Straight up over that head. Oh, we got this, we got this. Nice. Switch to the opposite side. Really try to keep those abs as tight as you can now for these last couple ones. Let's go, straight up. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe it. We got this. Give it all you got right now, you guys. We have one more each arm and we are done. That's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds on each arm. Straight up. Don't give up now. Keep working, keep working. We got this. Don't give up. Last couple. Yes. Switch to that last arm. 20 more seconds, and then we stretch. Straight up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Abs are tight, keep them tight. Rest. We're done, yes, you guys did it. So super, super proud of you guys for completing that workout. That one was not an easy one with those presses in there. So grab a drink of water if you need some and let's stretch that body out. Now, I do want you to do the stretching part, but I understand some people bail out. So if you are bailing out right now, you need to eat something, some clean protein and some carbs. Get that back in your system to help rebuild back those muscle fibers, okay? Do that right now. Stretching, arms open nice and big. Across one elbow over. Hold that arm we are holding for anywhere from around 20 seconds to 45. So if you wanna do some added stretching on your own, you can do it for a little bit longer. You can even go for a minute if you want to. Making sure those shoulders are down, your chin is up nice and high. And open those arms up. 
nice little squeeze. Switch to the opposite elbow, holding that elbow. Again, shoulders don't creep them up to your ears. Keep it down nice and low. Breathing. And relax. I'm actually gonna do a side bend now, so I'm gonna have my feet nice and big. Arm is gonna come up and over, and I'm just gonna lean it to the side. I can have my other arm slide down my leg toward my knee and hold this position. And switch to the opposite side. Really getting that core stretch in there may help you prevent some soreness depending upon what muscles are a little bit weaker, which might make them tighter. And it's always good to get a full body stretch in there. All right, tricep. So you're gonna grab your elbow. You're gonna go behind your head. So it's gonna look like this. And then I'm going to lean to the opposite side. So I feel this in my tricep and then all the way down my core, down my side. So right here. Stand it back up, open it back up and lean. Again, tricep all the way down to that core. Perfect, relax. Now I'm gonna take a knee right now. I'm just gonna do a little hip flexor stretch. I'm gonna relax my toe in the back. Foot is gonna come out and I'm just gonna slightly lean forward. Keeping my chest up nice and tall. I'm not bending down. I'm just gonna hold this stretch here. So it's always good to stretch those hip flexors, especially if you're a runner or a type of athlete that's going forward a lot with your motion and you're doing some sort of running. This is a really great stretch. Now on my way back, I'm gonna keep my right leg forward. I'm gonna put my heel out and now I can hold on to something if I need to. I'm just gonna slightly bend forward so I feel it in my hamstring on that leg that is straight out. So start with your knee straight, not locked, but straight. Now if you add a little bit more of a bend in that knee and lean forward, you're gonna feel it in a little bit different spot in that hamstring. Holding that. If this is hard for you, you may wanna add more hamstring stretches throughout your program, your week, whatever that may look like. Opposite leg, hip flexor, stretch that forward. Nice big hold. Kinda hanging on that front leg. Keeping that chest up tall. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the opposite leg. We're gonna have that leg stay forward. Make sure your hips are square up too. And then we're just gonna lean forward. I can try to touch the floor. I can try to hang out on my leg. I'm trying to keep my back nice and straight. And then I'm gonna bend that knee a little bit and lean forward a little bit more to get a little bit deeper hamstring stretch. Perfect. All right, stand that up, quad stretch. Grab that leg, pull back behind you. As always, stand up nice and tall. Try not to have that knee out. Keep it parallel with those um, legs. Nice little tug there. You can pull it back a little bit more for a deeper stretch, depending upon how flexible you are. Again, hold on if you need something. So each opposite leg, grabbing that other leg, standing up nice and tall, hand down that hip, chest is up tall. And exhale, arms up over your head, big inhale. In through your nose. Then exhale through your mouth as you come down. Hold it here for a second. I want you to thank your body for working as hard as it did. I want you to be proud of yourself for completing this workout because it was not easy. As always, if you guys ever have any questions, let me know. You can always comment below. I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Have a great day. See you guys next time.